kids. Hi kids. Once upon a time there was a frog who didn't want to be a frog anymore. What he really wanted to be was a person walking on two legs. Woo! How did he manage that? Well, he knew he had to concentrate very carefully on keeping his balance and standing up. He practiced for many, many weeks. Then one day, he stood up on two legs. Wow! But he really must have looked funny walking on two legs, and he definitely still looks like a frog. Hmm, maybe you should try on some pants. That's a good idea. That will help him look like a person. And maybe a jacket. And maybe a hat. Ooh. And some boots. Yes, all of those clothes would help the frog look more like a person. There was just one problem though. What was the problem? Flies. Frogs love to eat flies. So every time while he was walking and a fly flew past, the frog's tongue darted out of his mouth to catch the flies. It looked like this. Catch flies. Delicious. Can you do that with me? Ready? Catch flies. Yum, yum in my froggy tongue. You know, that makes me think of a little song. Ooh. Oh, I'm a little froggy in disguise. Catch flies. I stick my sticky tongue into the skies. Catch flies. Oh, I'm a little froggy in disguise. Catch flies. You'll get a big surprise when I walk on two legs eating flies. Cause I'm a little froggy in disguise. Catch flies. I stick my sticky tongue into the skies. Catch flies. I get so hungry, feel so funny, just can't help it. They're so yummy, want a big old belly full of flies. Catch flies. Oh, that is so fun. Ooh, let's sing that again. This time, can you find all of the parts to catch flies? And we're gonna practice walking around on two legs too. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm a little froggy in disguise. Catch flies. I stick my sticky tongue into the skies. Catch flies. Oh, I'm a little froggy in disguise. Catch flies. You'll get a big surprise when I walk on two legs eating flies. Cause I'm a little froggy in disguise. Catch flies. I stick my sticky tongue into the skies. Catch flies. I get so hungry, feel so funny, just can't help it. They're so yummy. Want a big old belly full of flies. Catch flies. Now we can listen to a piece of music by the composer Leo DeLeve. This music is called Pizzicato. It is played by violins that are plucking their strings instead of using their bow. The sounds the violin makes are nice and short or staccato. When violins are played this way, it's called Pizzicato. Wow, that's just like the name of the music. Let's all say that word right now. Pizzicato. Well, in the middle of pizzicato, you're gonna hear the music change and become more smooth or legato. During this part, the frog gets so tired from balancing on two legs that he lays down to take a rest. And then, while he's resting, he dreams that he can fly around like a bird. But when he wakes up, he's back to being a frog, walking on two legs. Oh, well then, at the very end, there's a little surprise. Can you watch and see what happens to Mr. Frog? Let's do it. Here comes music by Leo Dalib. Thank you. 
what happened at the end of the piece of music? What did the frog do? That's right, he jumped right into the pond to swim the day away. Okay, now we've got another challenge for you. Can you help us count how many flies we catch in our piece of music? So you're gonna hear the music like this. Do, 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 catch flies. That's one, two. Okay, so you're gonna help me count and we're gonna see how many flies we catch in the first part of our song. Here we go. One, two. catching all of those flies, 20 flies, yum yum. The frog catches 20 flies while he's walking around on two legs. He catches them two at a time. Now, this is the music map that we're gonna read of Pizzicato. What do you notice on the music map? That's right, you notice the flies that he catches two at a time and you also notice the dots. These dots are the steps that he takes. They're the steady beat of the song. You might have also noticed that sometimes the frog takes a short a hungry walk and sometimes he takes a longer walk. He's really taking a while and then he finally sees the flies and then he catches them. In our music, we've got shorter phrases and longer phrases. So we have to listen to know whether we're gonna take a short walk or a long walk to catch those flies. Here comes the music. Let's listen and follow along with our music map. There we go. Today we listened to the music, we moved around and caught flies, and we read a music map. Bye-bye, kids.